Hoo hoo, everyone. I'm a level three, but no author. Maybe you noticed that I skipped the vlog last Sunday because I made a longer video about what is a web novel. Check it out if you haven't already. August is ending and September is coming and I will change my schedule um, September. I make a separate uh, video to this topic. Then, to get it out of the way, I will uh, do no vlog next Sunday as well. I will do a giveaway. Um, it will be two gift certificates for Redbubble or for Threadless. You have to answer a little quiz. So check out my YouTube next Sunday or next Monday um, if you want to get a gift certificate. There will be two giveaways, one on YouTube for everybody and one at Patreon for only my Patreons. Okay, back to the topic. I'm level three now. Yeah. I believe it was last Friday I leveled up. My level up uh, requirements were one Patreon or 100 uh, subscribers at a single platform. And uh, I reached both today, <laughs> but I reached first the one Patreon. So a uh, shout out to Dennis. Yeah, it was, uh, Friday was that emotional for me. I had uh, first the one uh, Patreon, my first Patreon, and I made a video about a funny little thing that happened to me while writing, but I got uh, very excited about it and made uh, even a clickbaity title and I didn't know that uh, clickbaits were even worked in uh, my kind of videos because I thought, oh, I have only sophisticated viewers and watchers they won't fall for a clickbait. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> Sorry, my watchers, I love you. <laughs> Why did you click on clickbait? <laughs> All future clickbait videos are because you messed this one up. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, I was honestly exciting and uh, thought it was amazing. Only when I wrote the title of the video, I thought, oh, doesn't this sound a bit clickbaity? Mm -hmm. But I still went for it, and uh, now um, my future uh, YouTube videos are ruined because of it. <laughs> clickbait, 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 click, 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 click. I want to make excuses again. <laughs> So uh, this video took off like uh, none of my videos before and uh, it is the first video who uh, crashed the 100 viewers mark. So I got uh, my first Patreon, I got my first video crashing the 100 viewers mark and now I have the first platform, it's Royal Road, where I got 100 subscribers or followers like they are called in Royal Road. So the last few days were pretty intense. They affected me. They affected my emotions in a way I wouldn't have guessed before. Because I'm not that big emotions girl and uh, having the big emotions drained me immensely. So I got a few uh, health issues Saturday. 
And even before that, I thought, okay, this YouTube thing and this author thing, um, I will do this. I will do this at my own pace. Um, I will uh, do much for my uh, physical health, uh, doing sport and um, and taking good care of myself. And um, I didn't expect that I get caught up in the whole numbers game. Do I have a follower more? Do I have a subscription more? Are my stats raising? Are they falling? How do the graphs look like? Yeah, I really get caught up in the numbers game. So I will try to look at it more. What I can offer you than the statistical responses I get out of it. For singular responses of specific customers of mine, like um, reviews, comments, I think I have a healthy attitude towards them. I read them and um, I'm a bit happy if they're nice. If they have critic, um, I try to judge it if the critic is uh, applying to me and to my writing. I try to suck out the positive things of the critic to um, improve and to enhance my writing or video making style and let uh, the rest uh, wash away. Uh, so I think I have no problem with uh, the comments and reviews um, itself. It's really the numbers that uh, have me in a tizzy <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, but I think I will get used to it because if I get uh, so excited about 100 viewers, it would be a health hazard to get a thousand viewers. <laughs> Maybe my viewers uh, would think, no, uh, I can't do this to a uh, poor Tran Ninja and I can't watch her videos anymore. She gets so excited, that can't be good for her. No, that's not the case. Watch my videos and I will handle the excitement. Okay, level three. So what ha I have to do to reach level four? Um, I have to reach 10 Patreons or 500 subscribers in one platform. I'm looking at you, Royal Roads. So what did I do this week? I wrote. I wrote not that much. Especially on the weekend, um, I lost the half chapter um, advantage I got on my stockpile. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I have to write more um, in the next uh, few days and uh, that's all right. Um, I have the time for it. Next weekend is full again, so I think <laughs> I will lose my advantage again. But after that, uh, my schedule is much clearer and uh, more spacey. <laughs> so um, I hope that uh, I can uh, grow my stockpile in September. The uh, daily plan I fashioned, the writing schedule, worked very, very well. That's great, but I think I will change some um, issues, uh, some bullet points, because uh, winter is coming and I need a vitamin D and my spot is at the moment from 8 o'clock in the evening to 10 o'clock in the evening and um, 
there's no sun and I need the vitamin D from the sun. Um, I didn't follow it to the point, but um, I used it as rough um, outline. Yeah, so I'm happy with it. In September, I will only do one vlog per week and uh, tackle some issues in separate videos, like um, doing my schedule. I noticed that some people click around in my videos for the topics they are interested in. I think that there are some topics who are more interesting to some people than other people. I uh, believe I reach more people if I um, make uh, smaller videos, each with a succinct... Oh no, I don't use this word. I will never pronounce it right. Each with their own uh, topic. All right. Um, so, see you Sunday for the giveaway, or maybe even Friday. I want to make an Orthotube Newbie Tech video. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what this is uh, when I make the video. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, bye bye.